Hey guys, I want to make a toast. Um, here's to those who wish us well, and those who don't can go to hell. <laughs> plus T-Y, yes. Tyrell. Tyrell is here. He wants to say hello. He wants to be in the video. Yeah? Hey, What's that? Say hello. Hello. Hi. Say hello. 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 All right. So we've got, we've got behind the sounds. Behind the scenes, yeah. uh, equipment is what we're going to be talking yeah. to, to you guys today about. Now, before we get into this video, mm -hmm. what's out right welcome. now? Welcome. Well, I just want to say welcome. Welcome. What's um, up? For, for those of you that are tuning in new, mm -hmm. my name is Annabelle and this is Kate. And together we are Chevelle Productions. Chevelle Productions. Creating the new sound of the era. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what is out right now? What's out for us? And what's out right now? Big day. Yesterday was a big day for Spotify because um, we actually went live with our first newest release single called Trick or Treat. Trick yeah. or Treat is out, guys. Now, yeah. you've probably seen I have now got a new phone. Oh, sorry, we, we forgot the other guy in the video too. I've got a new phone. And with the new phone. <laughs> Oh, he's Maybe we just grab it and go in. Just quickly. Yeah, keep talking. So it's all got, good in the morning. I've got a new phone and I've got a selfie stick. So we're going to. Uh, what are we doing with that? We're going to be making videos on this little selfie stick because yeah. I can now show you a little bit of what's going on. So, so today we're talking about equipment. What equipment. Is that the topic today? Behind the oh. sounds equipment. Excellent. So. Yeah. Uh, on that topic, mm. yet yeah, uh, last video, if you haven't seen the last video, mm. it was uh, behind the sounds, um, uh, music mm. and mm. behind the music. Uh, no, no, no. We, we were actually getting into the zone of um, actually being in the right um, mind space. Yeah, mindset. Now, for, the, for those of you who tuned into our first topic, it was about, um, you know, being in the right um, head space which is mind space mm -hmm. um, of creating music now where do you go like you obviously watching from the previous video do you drive to a destination do you eat a certain food do you team up with a songwriter to get in the right zone to writing the mm -hmm. songs of how you feel? colors so on and so forth now you can watch that video but today our topic is strictly on equipment equipment now equipment, equipment could be microphone headphones mixing baby. software baby now just as you can see from the back computer MIDI, MIDI, um, MIDI um, keyboard, you can grab yourself a, a, obviously a recording microphone. Yep. We've actually got a, um, now our setup, well, let's get a little bit of a yeah, 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 so. We actually use for our recording microphone, we use a Rode. Oh, no, it's a Shore. It no, it's a Shore. Oh, we used to use a Rode? Yeah, we used to use a Rode. Oh, we're on a Shore now. Okay, this is a Shore, so sure? I'm sure that this is a Shore. So that is, if I can get it right. A Shore what? That is a Shore. We need to know the specs. SM7B, right? Yeah. If you can say that again one more time for the listeners. Sure, SM7B. And so, for those of you, we record with that, but when we actually used to perform live, we we would use Sure as well. Um, I we would both probably use the Beta 58. That was our best microphone that we've um, and the SM um, the SM 58 and the Beta 58 was one of our performing ones. Yeah. So, but back to recording. That is the awesome microphone for rapping, for rapping, and also um, singing vocals, like this baby. All right, off you go. I'm going to let him be free for a second. He wants to be free. Yeah, he wants to. Tyrell. Tyrell. Do your dance. Do your dance. Hello. 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 Say hello. Let him say hello. All right. So anyway, back to so us. Bringing it back, um, you know, you so with the with you, you using your setup, you're obviously going to need um, a computer. Now, 
Yeah. Yeah, so it's beautiful. Can they play guitar? Wow, look at that guitar over there. You gonna give us some tunes? Yeah. Yes, we do play guitar. Now you're gonna need a now we did at one stage in our previous recordings, our demo recordings, we did use a laptop. Now a laptop will only get you so much work to be done, but um just because of the size of the yeah, screen, really. Your files are not gonna hold, especially if you're doing the amount of layers with songs. And so also the size of the screen, this is probably the biggest that's probably the biggest issue that you're gonna have. But you only purchased your computer like not long ago. Yeah, yeah, so I got the Mac yeah. now. Um so yeah, I've got a Mac, I love Apple software because it's just easy to use. Yeah. And the Software that we use for mixing is GarageBand. So, yeah, sorry. No, so we've right. got we've got GarageBand that we use for mixing and mastering. We use Lander. Mm. So pretty much with those things, and we've got a Scarlet Scarlet um, interface. Interface. Mm. A little red one. Just yeah. if you can see it there. Underneath there. That Scarlet interface will only now you can get that from DJ City, you can get that online, you can get that at um mastermusic.com, but it's honestly it's it's not the most expensive and it's actually not the cheapest. It does the job though. But it's in the middle budget, it will do the job. It will it, it does don't, the job. Yeah, honestly. you don't you don't have to go crazy and spend yeah. heaps of money yeah. on, on on because now you know you've got all these plugins that you can mm. use. Uh, to mix to mix vocals so on and so forth. So I use a bunch of plugins on GarageBand. If you want to know which plugins that we use, and you want to know a little bit more about GarageBand, or you have any questions, just shoot us uh, an, an email because I always post the email that we have. Shoot us an email, and we can always email you back, so on and so forth. Um, just want to say something um, in terms of gear, like um, sorry, gear as in equipment gear. Um, <laughs> I did put that in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nigga. Yeah. Um, in terms of equipment, um, the the thing that you actually want to invest your money now. Look, if you're pay, taking your recording um, music very seriously and it's going to be released on social media, I would suggest that you save your money and you do invest it into a, a you know, an Apple computer. The computer and the microphone mm -hmm. is. Definitely 100%. worth spending money. 100%. You have to spend to gain now, good quality. Also, on another note, is if you can see over here, I've got two sets of headphones there. Yeah, they not the top of the range headphones, but they would do the job for now. Actually, one's a Shaw and one's a, a Bayringer. Bayringer. So the Shaw one we mm. use for recording mm. uh, vocals because they're a close back. Mm. And the Bayringer ones I'm currently using now for mixing because it's an open back and when you got the headphones on for such a long period of time while you're mixing like 12, 13 hours straight, mm -hmm. uh, you want your ears to not get too smashed with the with the with the vocals going mm. into your ears all the time. You want a little bit of air mm. going through. So a lot of different producers use um, different um, yeah, there's yeah. all different brands yeah. that you can use, but a lot of the people, a lot of the producers that use for mixing will use open back. Mm. If you want to know any information about open back, close back, so on and so forth, Google. again, Google it or shoot mm. us an email. Mm. But so much stuff mm. online for Googling, so mm. just jump. So on that's the main thing. Those, those are the two things: the computer and the microphone. And if you're gonna, if you're going to be a person that look, they do recommend that you do have a booth. <laughs> Like a full and closed booth. Yeah, like so we do, we, do have, we do have the booth right there. Now, just to turn this around to give you an idea, it completely closes. The reason why you know online that if you're a professional singer, rapper, this is going to hold all the spit, all the all the projection that is. It's going to go through. back into the mic. All your vocals. You're, you're not on me. No, I'm not. Sorry. No, no, no. no. You're, sorry. You're, there. You're, you're, a little bit that way. Yeah, that's it. Now, this is going to hold all the spit. Everything that when you're singing, especially when you're doing high notes and stuff, it's going to hold everything there, and you're going to get your microphone sits there, and obviously you're going to get all that power. Now, because we obviously, you know, we're doing an R&B thing, bringing it back to that microphone but setup. The the thing about that booth that we were just mm -hmm. talking about. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's good um, if you're not really because now that you know there's something called noise gate you can you can use noise gate which is a plug-in mm. um, and you don't really need a booth thing anymore mm. um, this day and age because there's so much software so many plugins that you can use mm. to get rid of excess noise in the background don't really need it as long as you have a good mic something like this um, it's really good top of one of the top of the range mics mm. so if you are going to go purchase things best thing to do is don't skimp out on A, plugins, no. B, microphone, C, 
the right computer. But of course, talent. Oh, yeah, you you know? need, like, you've got to have the ears in this. You need talent. You need talent. <laughs> but yeah, mixing mixing and mastering are the mm. two biggest things behind it all and creativity. Now, that's that in terms of. I know. Creativity. I know. You've got to be creative. Yeah. All right. And the other ones will never make it. No. But look, that was equipment in terms of recording mm -hmm. okay that's what we're up to at the mm -hmm. moment now just to quickly give you a rough down a lot of you are probably thinking i go well what about equipment when you're performing live now uh, for those of you who used to follow below all our other videos if you scroll through we used to gig a lot mm -hmm. duo solo and all that kind mm -hmm. of thing gigging perf actually performing live and recording two different microphones that's right two different speakers your speakers that you're actually recording with, what have we got here for our recording? Bay ringers again? Bay ringers, and then we've got AVE for mm. live performances. Mm. If you look, look up things. there, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, mm. AVE somewhere there. So my son's just playing guitar there. Yeah, yeah. So those AVEs are actually, are they 15? 15 they are. Inch, they're 15 inch. inch, they're 1000 watts. No, they're, more than that. Are they? Yeah. Or 1500? I don't, I don't even know. All right, well, they're over 1000 watts anyway, you know, thanks for saying that. Yeah. But um, in terms of performing, I would recommend that what we use, what we use, we'll tell you, a beta 58, two beta 58s, or an SM 58. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, they're good prices. Yeah. The beta 58 and is $250. And then, and then you, also get, you, and you also get vocal processes and so on and so forth mm -hmm. that you can add to your mix. But um, So yeah, then you've got your gear for performing live. Yeah, today is different. obviously equipment, equipment for, for mix, recording. Recording, mixing, mm -hmm. mastering, so on and so forth. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a little snip now of uh, a little bit of snip of Annabelle doing her thing. You know, we're just recording. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon the fish will scars and the clouds will be Heaven's doors open up my so she can, yeah. So she can. Uh, you, you guys can see how we do a little bit of the recording side of things. And I'm sorry, Ben, but a lot of you that do recording have probably noticed that the recording stand is quite short, and that we sit down. And yeah, do it. we do a lot of sit down. Look, recording. you singers out there that stand up and do it. Yeah, you can stand up to you know use your body energy diaphragm. and your diaphragm to hit those notes, but. Um, if you're just chilling out and doing like, sometimes we feel, you got to go from feeling, like the previous video, if you feel like sitting down, sit the hell down. Oh, also on another note guys, you also need something to write in, like Tyrell. Oh, yeah, that's actually our lyric book. That's our lyric book. Not anymore. Yeah, Tyrell's book. Um, oh, that's a sausage dog too. Did we get that? Mm, get that fluffy thing. Alpha. Oh, yeah. so <laughs> So hello. All right. So that's pretty much it, guys, for um, for what we use and what we do uh, with the equipment side of things. If you want any more info um, for any of that, shoot us a comment. Shoot us an email. Do your thing. Um, Trick or treat is out on Spotify. What else? Um, well. What? Trick or Treat? Trick or Treat, Trick or treat is, is out on Spotify. Apple, Apple. Play. Um, iTunes. iTunes, yes. All those, all those yeah. uh, extra things. Look, listen to the song. It is our first newest release single. On Spotify. I'm not going to say first now, single because we've had a lot of singles. Type in Annabelle Chevelle, spelt A N N A B E L space C H E V E L. Trick or Treat, you'll see it there. Enjoy it, listen mm -hmm. to it. Um, share it, let your friends know, mm -hmm. purchase mm -hmm. it so it stays in your playlist. Do your thing. Next video that we're going to be What's released. The next topic? The next topic uh, it's on my oh, it's no. on my other phone. Yeah. But I will show you what the next mm -hmm. topic is mm -hmm. um, in the next video because I'll be doing the release, the release of our next single. I know. Oh, that's gonna be the you guys tune in will be the release of our next single and obviously the new topic. The next yeah. single new topic we'll we just put talk it all like so much about we're just talking we're like we don't we don't do any cutting or anything on these videos. This is just no. us just no, straight up talking. Cut, cut, no, we cut. just like to do uh, straight yeah. top uh, bit. bit. See that cut? See, see, see that, see that head move. You don't need oh, like now that I'm skinny, I can actually. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, that's our, our, our topic. Just sums up everything today for the type of equipment that you will need to record high quality demos high quality, or high quality releases. Releases and again, software does a tremendous thing now with um getting your music out there mm. to radio sound radio play mm -hmm. so um 
don't spend too much on things that are not necessary like mm. like um, I know a lot of people will go and spend a lot of money on um, um, deadening out their room uh, making it um, you know that you know sound soundproof and all that you don't you, don't you know what well, back in the day I'm gonna share something with you what was that oh, because I might yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's why we baby it's yeah. um, back in the day Tell you a little story. Back in the day, when when people actually didn't have the money to go do you know this fancy thing, and they would actually cut carpet or cut the back of eggshell carpet mm. and stick it all over the wall. It's literally cover the whole mm. wall in egg cartons mm. or wow. carpet. Um, get yourself a carpet room and you know put some egg cartons on the wall. You get yourself a soundproof room that is not going to cost you more than thirty cents. Don't but, do that anymore. But you don't need that anymore. You have the facilities to record in the echo room. Maybe. Mm. And get rid of all that yep. yep, you can mix it, master it, software, software is the biggest key right here, and what we're talking about, and creativity. And now we are going to tune out, so, Anna Goshevel featuring K plus TY, say bye. Chevelle Productions, check us out, like, subscribe, do your thing on the video, you know, take it out. And we look forward to being back in the next week. Oh, you be my bride.